Another short presentation from the PLC eUniversity website. What is a PLC? This is the 20th in the Factory Rat series. Specifically, we're going to talk about binary number system. First of all, what is a number system? Our number system is decimal or base 10. There's a lot of speculation about where the decimal or base 10 number system began. If you go online and look, you're going to see everybody across the globe wants to take claim to it. In all reality, it was 10 appendages on your hand, eight fingers and two thumbs. And so folks just started counting using their fingers and hands and eventually decided they needed more than 10, then maybe they had to have a stack of rocks for every time they went through 10 fingers. Nonetheless, I don't think any country can lay claim to the base 10 number system, although they might lay claim to the symbols like the Arabic numerals that we use for 0 through 9 in the base 10 system for expression. So looking at the base 10 system in an easy form for everyone to recognize, and that would be the odometer on your car because the odometer on your car counts in tens. Zero through nine, then ten. So there's a column for tens, hundreds, thousands, and so forth. Decimal number system is so familiar to us that if you said $10,840 to someone, they instantly know exactly what they could buy for roughly that amount of money. Let's look at indexing the decimal number system. That's one, two, and then we'll shoot ahead, we get up to nine, and the next count, we roll over and add one to the next column. That's the decimal number, so everybody recognizes that. Now, binary is base two, so decimal has 10 symbols, zero through nine, ninth, but the decimal system has 10 symbols. The binary system has just two symbols, binary. So let's count again. So we count one, and at this point, they're both equal in binary or decimal. However, on the next count, we have to roll over the first column for the binary because there's only two symbols. So now our decimal odometer, if you want to call it that, indexer, has a value of two. And what you're looking at in the binary display is also a value of two, or rather the equivalent of the binary one zero is decimal two. If we go one more time, now we've incremented to three on the decimal odometer. On the binary odometer, we now have one one, and that's equivalent to three. That is the binary equivalent to three. If we go one more to four, now the first two columns of the binary had to roll over, and we carry to the third column, and one zero zero is a binary four, the equivalent of four in decimal system. We started with indexing the odometer, and we indexed the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and so forth. Then I show an exponential scientific notation. That would be units, 10 to the first power, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Everybody recognizes this, and then there's positional notation. Now, there's not a whole lot of difference between exponential and positional notation. We normally use positional notation for everything. Seldom do we use powers of 10 for everyday life. Even in the PLC world, it's unlikely that we would use powers of 10 unless you got into really large floating point real numbers. Positional notation, 1 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. You understand everything that you see here. This is binary, and notice that all of our symbols disappeared. So instead of 10 symbols, now we've got only two to work with. And under exponential, instead of units and then 10 to the first power, we've got two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, 8192, 16,384, and double that 32,768. That would be 16 places of positional notation. And each one of those positions is equal that value. To further clarify a number system based on its number of symbols, let's consider an octal number system, base eight, where there's eight symbols, zero through seven. Now, I didn't just grab this one out of thin air. This one was still in some use with PLCs, octal numbering system, that you went from one to eight, from ones to eight, you skip two and four. You go from eight to 64, skipping 16 and 32 and so forth. Base 10, 10 symbols. Base 2, 2 symbols. And there's also hexadecimal. What 
is this value? You see a one and a one. Well, if you didn't know any better, you would just say it's 11. However, if it's a base two number system, then it's the decimal equivalent three. So one one in binary is three in decimal. If it's an octal, then it's nine. Back to our, our data table is made up 100% of 16 bit words. And that is the binary number system. There are many good videos on YouTube on binary and number systems.